Hi everyone, it's Jan here from the Fit Federation. And one of my clients asked me this week about um, a psalm called MK2866 or Ostering. Now, he wanted to know a bit more about it, including the effects, side effects, is it good, is it advisable to take, etc. etc. So I thought I'd make a video about this and let you guys know as well. Right, first of all, what is a SAM? A SAM is a selective androgen receptor modulator. So the idea is that um, compared to an um, anabolic drug, the SAM only acts in the androgen receptors, so your muscles basically, and not in things like your prostate, your heart, and, and so on and so on. So it's meant to be a healthy alternative, which sounds pretty awesome, but in theory, well, in theory, but uh, in reality, it's not um, quite as simple as that. So um, most some companies, um, yeah, supplement some selling companies, they promise you um, the fact that it's just like steroids, but without the nasty side effects, which is it's not completely true. You can't have an effect without a side effect. So I just wanted to, um, yeah, give you a few facts and side effects about MK2866 stuff that's like um, reported from studies and yeah, medical people that I've spoken to and athletes. Sorry that rain was a bit annoying over there. Hope you can hear me better now. Okay, so first of all, the MK2866 is one of the most popular Psalms and it's kind of wide available and therefore has a yeah, average to medium sort of pricing, which obviously makes it um, yeah, quite um, popular for most, most athletes. And it's also meant to be a bit of an all-rounder, so it doesn't matter if you're an endurance or muscle building um, yeah, athlete, it, it kind of is meant to be um, good for all sorts of needs. Um, what else? A cycle is usually around eight weeks. And speaking of, of muscle building athletes, they report um, muscle increase between 10 and 12 pounds during that period. Now, is that all muscle or is it potentially some water? It's pretty. It's a pretty quick time to build some muscle, so I don't assume that it's it's a hundred percent lean muscle tissue. But yeah, again, the studies are not um, complete enough, so this is basically just trial and error from um, yeah people that are happy to um, um, exchange those sort of experience. Um, what else? Yeah. yeah, the normal cycle for most athletes, the, the daily dosage is around um, 10 to 30 milligrams, which uh, yeah brings us to an average of 70 to 140 milligrams a week, which is pretty similar to a testosterone replacement therapy. And that's why people probably um, are under the impression that it's side effect free because at that sort of dosage you won't experience many side effects. Now, what some medical people will tell you that um, it affects um, your cholesterol and basically um, has a negative effect on your good cholesterol, your HDL. So you have to be aware of that just like a like an anabolic um, steroid, like Vinstrol, for example. Um, what else can I tell you guys? Well, since it's not an approved drug at this stage, so it's kind of semi-legal in most countries, it's basically uh, semi-legal to buy and to own, but not allowed to, uh, you're not allowed to use it, uh, in, not for human consumption. 
So basically you can feed it to your lab rat uh, or um, have a look on it under the microscope and do all sorts of tests with it, but don't use it for human consumption. That's why I definitely wouldn't recommend doing so. You know? Everything you do, obviously, at your own risk. Um, the other thing, since obviously it's not a controlled um, drug that you get via prescription or pharmacy or whatever, you're not sure what you're getting. So it could be instead of your your um, healthier alternative psalm, it could be just a, um, a cheap anabolic drug in your capsules or liquid or whatever. Because if those companies selling you something and you see results after a few weeks, you obviously buy it again. So um, you wouldn't know what's in it. Uh, what else? Would it make a difference in theory if it's a liquid or a capsule? No. The only difference is it's obviously easier to dose if it's a capsule because you have the exact same amount every day and it would be easier to take. Um, what else? Yeah, MK2866 is not as suppressive as as um, other psalms like R8E140 or LGD4033, but it can still have a slight suppression. And that's why some people, um, some athletes um, run in the same time during the cycle um, a natural testosterone booster. Preferred is uh, the Tonkat Ali, which is a, uh, yeah, Look it up, it's a natural testosterone booster that's obviously um, recommended by um, some some yeah, doctors or medical people if you're over 30 anyway, because it, it apparently um, boosts your testosterone levels in a, in a healthy and natural way. Um, do you have to post-cycle it? Athletes um, say, ideally, well, it's not that suppressive, so you wouldn't have to. Your your testosterone levels would just eventually bounce back. But you could encounter that a bit with um, diaspartic acid and an aromatized inhibitor. Um, those studies didn't show much effect on the liver as such, so it's not as harsh as a... As a um, anabolic drug like um, yeah the anabol or something like that what else can I tell you guys side effects that some athletes report is lower back pain and uh, pain in the testicles so yeah but as soon as they um, stopped using it it eventually uh, went away um, what else? Yeah, I mean, the idea of a, of a psalm was um, originally that you can basically bypass the visit um, to your doctor and you just buy a capsule and, um, yeah, take it yourself. Or if, you, if you're too young, obviously, and you're not um, um, qualify for, for TRT or testosterone replacement therapy, then that would be the easier alternative. Um, again, if that's what you're looking for, if you're over 30 and you, you're interested in testosterone replacement therapy, then rather go see your doctor. It's cheaper, it's legal, yeah, and you know exactly what you're getting, 100% um, pharmaceutical quality as far as testosterone goes. Um, yeah, I think that's all I can say really at that stage. Um, if you're interested in more videos like that, then just post me something in the comments or contact me via my Facebook, Instagram or my website. Um, yeah, please subscribe for more videos. And if you like this video, then please give me a thumbs up. Awesome. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.